Are you finding yourself spending a lot of time prepping for the discovery calls and you have all these different connections and networking event that you end up collecting a whole bunch of connection, but the only problem is by the time they get onto your discovery call, it's a maybe, or sometimes it's an absolutely no. It's a common problem that a lot of female coaches are experiencing, but don't worry. I got the secret of how to transform these maybes to a yes without hesitation. If you're new to me, I'm Michelle. I am a visibility and marketing coach for female coaches to simplify your social media marketing so that you can get seen, get heard, and gain paying clients. Today, we're talking about the most challenging part, but I promise you it is also the most rewarding part of your coaching business, how to get more yes like never ever before from your discovery call. So what's the deal? Why are there so many potential clients slip through the crack and they may have grabbed your discovery call and you have made that initial contact and connection, but somehow every time you get on that discovery call, it just doesn't go as well as that you like it to be. And the problem is that you may spend time working on your uh, discovery call script and you practice to the T, you probably have done it so many times that you can memorize it in your sleep. But when you jump onto that discovery call, somehow it's always a hesitation. Maybe I'll get back to you. I don't know. I'm not so sure about this. And so there's a lot of hesitation from your potential client. Instead of signing up with you right there on the spot, they're thinking about what's in it for me and how much does it charge? Maybe I'll get back to you. Maybe you'll hear from me. And the problem comes twofold, two reasons. First is that your messages might not be clear as to leaving people thinking unsure about exactly what is it that you're offering. And so you probably felt that too, every time you get onto the discovery call towards the end, somehow that feeling just start to surface. Oh my gosh, I have to start going from providing values to end up convincing someone to sign up to the program. The second problem that you might be experiencing is that you're all about delivering value. And I see this so many times that coaches are jumping on discovery call and they're using it as a demo session. So you end up delivering great value. You give them the most valuable things, which is your time, your energy, your skill as a coach. But it's all great and dandy, but you're forgetting the one most important thing, which is guiding them towards making that purchase. So it makes perfect sense by the end of the call, it is really challenging and difficult going from the value mindset or the value conversation to, hey, you just experienced something that's really profound and transformative. How would you like to have more? And so going from the value to asking for the sale become very challenging for many of the coaches I work with. And if that's how you feel, then we need to change that. Okay, so how do we exactly go about fixing it so that every time your call has just converting like crazy and never before? Solution number one is you want to deliver value before the call. Here's how we're going to flip that script and start focusing on the value to that you're delivering even before they hopping on the call with you. What does that mean? It means that you're crafting content, you're delivering value, and you're doing all the heavy lifting through the content that you're putting out into the world for you. Content that showcase the transformative experience for working with you. And by the time that they're actually grabbing the call on your calendar, they are already convinced that you are the go-to coach and there's no doubt and question or what and if about it, you, they're hiring you on the spot. So that's what you want to do. Solution number one is you want to focus on delivering the value before they're coming onto the call. So the purpose of having a call is actually just showing them, here's what I do. You saw the value. You probably following me. Let me just give you a high overview. Let me just remind you again, what does that feel like for you? And if you want it, 
Here's how we can start working together. So your whole discovery calls becomes a sales call rather than a discovery call or demo live coaching call so that you can convince somebody, hey, I'm a great coach and there, this is the reason why you need to work with me. So again, solution number one is to deliver the value before they jump onto the call. Solution number two is you want to make sure that your messages are zero in on the outcome. Most coaches who I work with initially, they're all focusing on, well, the outcome is I'm going to help them to get whatever that they want. I'm going to help them because everyone is different. So I'm going to help them to achieve the dream that they desire. But what does that even mean? And when people jumping onto the call, they're thinking in their mind, they want to know what's in it for me. And so your conversation needs to be tailored to exactly what they're looking for. So let's say you're going to a networking event or a um, connection meeting uh, virtually or in person, doesn't matter. And someone share something uh, of a, their personal struggle. So your what's in it for me is about speaking to that person's desire, speaking to that person's pain and struggles and frustration and what's keeping that person from getting to the places that they want. You do that in that conversation so that your outcome focusing messaging is the fact that, hey, if this is what you're struggling, let me tell you about what I can do with you. And so you start to paint a vivid picture of the transformation that they're going to receive by choosing you as the coach. So the clarity comes from the turning that curiosity into commitment. So someone would be like, well, this is what I'm struggling. Maybe it's a habit. Maybe I need to go back to the gym. Maybe I need to lose some weight. Whatever that pain and frustration is, why couldn't that person just put it onto the calendar and make it a habit? You speak about that frustration and offer, step in and say, hey, this is exactly how I can help you with this. I can help you building that habit. I can help you to set that goal. I can help you to accomplish what you just said. And that is going to help you to have a higher converting ratio so that by the time they jump onto the call or even they will just hire you on the spot. If this is what you can help me accomplish, great. Let me hire you. You are my go-to coach. So again, solution number two is to focus on the outcome focus messaging. What are you going to do and how you're going to help that person? So now this becomes tricky on social media because you need to be able to speak to a bigger, larger audience without losing the focus of who your avatar is. If you need help with that, I have a perfect resource that I'm going to link in the description box down below. It's a core message guide. It's going to walk you through the five steps of what does it mean to actually have a core message that is going to attract your paying clients. So find the link down in the description box. Okay, solution number three is you want to nurture the future buyers. I hear this so many times from so many different coaches that, oh, they jump onto the discovery call, but they didn't buy from me, or they didn't end up signing up with me in a couple of days. They say they were going to get back to me, but they started to ghost me. So remember, just because they didn't buy today doesn't mean that they won't buy tomorrow. People are going through a different personal journey. And so it's really crucial to understand where they are in their journey. Are they ready to solve their problem? Or maybe they're just wanting to get to know what are my options here and what actually life coaching is. So for those who are in just looking phase, Consider creating a free offer. It may be a Facebook group that's free where you invite your potential dream audience into that Facebook group. Or my suggestion and my priority is always start the, your email list early. And what you want to do is you want to keep them engaged until they're actually ready to come in. Now you may say, well, Michelle, that's great, but some of them just hang out in my Facebook group forever or they unsubscribe from me on my email list. That's okay. Maybe they're on a different journey. Maybe they change their mind. It's okay for them to let go from your email list, but you want to have that commitment of continuously to engage them, to have conversation with them. So never neglect the fact that Today is not a buyer doesn't mean that tomorrow they're not a buyer. So you want to nurture your future buyer so that when they're ready to jump on or jump into your program, they know exactly who to turn into. 
Okay, so today I share three very important tips. If you're someone who's struggling to convert your discovery call, people who jump on and grab a time who you think that would be perfect as your paying clients, but somehow they just turn out to be a maybe or they ghosted you. Here are the three solutions that I have for you so that you can actually have a higher conversion rate like never before. Solution number one is to deliver the value ahead of time. Think of your content creation is a process where you establish that credibility, you're providing the value, even though it's a free resources, but it's your selling opportunity. That is the place that you can sell to your dream client without getting them onto the call and actually feeling icky about it. So solution number one, remember, is to deliver value before the call so that you can stop having to convince them why they should be choosing you as their coach. Solution number two is to have outcome-focused messaging. In order to do that, you really need to have the, the deep understanding about what is it that your avatar wants, what are they struggling with, and how your coaching program can actually help them to resolve all these issues. And so when you're having conversation, whether it's in person or virtually, you want to focus on providing those talking points where you can validate and acknowledge the fact that these are the struggles that you have and this is where I can help. When you start focusing on the outcome focusing message, your dream client, number one, they're going to appreciate you because you just share something very valuable. Number two is they're more likely to hire you on the spot because they saw the value of working with you. They saw the opportunity of who they can become when they start working with you. Solution number three is you want to nurture your future buyer. And this includes creating your content, being out there, getting seen, but also creating some free values, free resources for them so that you can continue building that relationship without stop. So I see so many coaches after the discovery call, they just let the client go and that client may be still wandering and going on to Google looking for free information. So if someone had actually jumped onto a call or you know someone might be a potential client, start by offering some free offer, Facebook group, or start growing your email list. These are great ways of staying connected to your potential clients and so that you can nurture them that way. And when they're ready to buy, guess what? You'll be the first person that comes to their mind. So. Coaching is a life transformational journey, and this journey doesn't begin when the client signed up with you. This journey begins, and the selling cycle begins way before your client even booking a call with you. So do you have a clear message where they first time visiting you that they can see if you're sharing something that it's of interest to them and that they would actually want to stick around to, uh, for more content that you're creating? And how can you help them without asking their big commitment for their time and their money? Every time I think about having a discovery call, it's like a time commitment. You're asking someone to have that big commitment of their time, their valuable time. So how can you provide resources before they actually put down that commitment? It's all about understanding your client's journey so that when you provide value, you can provide it every step of the way. If you need more help to understand your dream clients and how to get more yes before they even book a call with you, I am going to offer a bootcamp that is coming up on April 15. In the meantime, if you like to subscribe to my newsletter, where I share more tips like this, there's a link in the description box down below. I am also giving away the ultimate guide on how to start a heart-centered coaching business for female coaches. There's so many coaches who are so heart-centered, you're passionate about the work that you do, but when it comes to selling, it just doesn't feel right. There's just something that's missing. So I provided this guide so that you can start 
driving that business by passion without the salesy marketing tactic. In this guide, I also share some case studies from other coaches who are just like you. They're building their full-time coaching business. And so you're going to learn how they got started so that you can learn from their story as well. Until then, keep coaching and I will see you in the next video.